Here we go. Welcome, everybody. It is the Wednesday Rowdy Group, and I love you guys, and this is going to be fun today. But this is going to be a little bit harder, and it's just because when Hal Leonard puts songs in books, they make the roadmap so that they don't have to do 8, 9, 10 pages. Well, they should have done 8, 9, 10 pages, because this one is really hard. This one's a tough one to follow. First of all, I'm going to give you an introduction, and I've, I've written out an introduction sheet for you. It'll be on Patreon. If you need it ahead of time, you know what to do. Um, I'm also going to send out a preset sheet. And remember, these are not because my arrangements are so doggone good. It's just so that you learn where the buttons are on your instrument, and you learn how to apply what your organ can do for you to the songs that we're playing. That's what this is all about. And what do we know, first of all, about this song? It was released as a non-album single in July of 1967. It is a Beatles song. It was written to capture the utopian ideals associated with the summer of love, 1967. And in the United Kingdom, they had some kind of a thing called One World or something like that where that's, they were celebrating um, this ideal summer of love type of a thing. Um, this became an anthem for the flower power culture and philosophy. And he made it, he tried to make it, I'm talking John Lennon, tried to make it simple enough that it would be catchy that everybody at this big Lollapalooza type of a thing could sing it and catch on to it. So that's what it was actually written for. The song begins with an orchestral arrangement of the French National Anthem. Now, I never could figure that out. Why? Why would he use the French National Anthem? Well, he did, and that's the introduction that I wrote out for you. And it ends with musical quotations from works. Now, now, if you write some of these down, or at least listen to some of them, the next time you listen to this song, listen to what's going on and all the cacophony at the, at the end of the song, and listen for things like Glenn Miller's In the Mood. It's there. It's in there. Um, also, Green Sleeves is in there, believe it or not. Box Invention Number 8, Johann Sebastian. He's got some stuff in there, too. And the Beatles' 1963 hit, She Loves You. That's the final one. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like the final one. But if you listen to all that stuff that's going on, it those were the pieces of music that were actually, they pulled pieces from and inserted them into all the stuff that the marching band is doing with this. Um, this was later included on the album called The Magical Mystery Tour. So it was first written as a single just for that event that was going on, and then later it was put onto an album. So that's what's going on with this song, The Summer of Love, 1967. <laughs> And the roadmap is the worst part of this song. And I've got some extra notes written in and a couple extra chords. So those are all optional. But the roadmap, I'm going to make the roadmap optional too, just because it's ridiculous. But let's do it the correct way right now so you really do know where things are going. You're first going to play the intro. Then you're going to play the first two lines. Then you're going to play where the lyrics start. The next page, you're going to play line one and part of line two. And then you have a thick line and you have dots on either side of the line. Well, the dots that are facing backwards are the ones you want to do first. So you make those a color. Maybe if I color mine in, it might actually help me too. And where's it going back to? It's going back to the dots on the first page, which would be the beginning of line three. Now we're going to do the second verse. The second verse. So when you do, there's nothing you can make that can't be made. And you're going to play that again. We've already repeated, so we're not going back. Now we just keep going forward. 
So now you jump to all you need is love. So you play all of page seven or the second page. At the bottom of the page, you have a first ending that continues. It's a long first ending. That's what, what makes it very confusing as well. And you take it to the third page, second line, first measure. That's where the first ending ends. And you have your two dots and make that another color. Where is that going back to? No, it does not go back to the beginning. But that's it goes what's back to the second page, second line. Correct, line. correct. And I'll tell you what, it's very easy to want to go all the way back to the beginning. Don't do it. You're going back to the second page, second line where the dots are facing forward. That's the trickiest part of the song right there. Okay, so now we're going to play, let's get a different color. We're going to play All You Need Is Love, second page, All You Need Is Love, All You Need Is Love, Love, Love Is All You Need. At the end of line four, put a colorful two, turn the page and trace the two on the second ending, which is just one measure on that second line. What page is that, go on. That would be page eight. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See where the second ending is? Yep. It's just one measure long. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. So yep. you, you're skipping the first ending. That This is why it's tricky. That first ending is so long. I know. That, those are pain. Yeah. So that when you go back to the middle of page seven, when you get to the end of line four, put that little two there. That'll help you to be able to jump to the second ending on the next page, which is only one measure long. Now you need another color. Oh no, really? Yeah, you need five colors on this. I only have four here. Oh well. All right, now you have at the end of the second ending, you have two thin lines and some instructions. And it says DS Alcoda, DS Alcoda. What does DS Alcoda mean? Go back to the silly sign. Mm -hmm. Where's the silly sign? Uh, uh, first page. Oh, yeah. Third. First page, third line, where you went back to before. Yep. So make that silly sign the same color as your double you lines. Now we're going to do the third verse. And we are looking for the oh, two coda. So you really need another color. Let's see. I will use, I'll use. I'll use, doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll use Pink. Blue. blue. I'll, use, I'll use blue because I used blue for the first one over there. Okay, so now we're going to do the third verse. Right? Mm -hmm. Yep. You don't want to repeat again because you already repeated. So now you want to just keep continuing. All you need is love. All you need is love. All you need is love. Love, love is all you need. Mm -hmm. Profound lyrics. <laughs> and there it says two coda. So then two coda, and you can actually put an arrow going forward on it because remember, you never go backwards to a coda. Codas only send you forward. So the final time you do this, you're going to go to the coda, which is the last page, and then you just finish the song. But you're not done yet. But wait, there's more. You can get your Ginsu knives if you order before five today. <laughs> At the end of the song, you have one measure that has repeat dots surrounding yep. the last measure. And it says repeat and fade. Yep. So those you just repeat and fade. And that's where that last page is where all that other music supposedly comes in. But we're just going to play what's here, repeat it and fade. Boy, right. shoot, that's five colors. Yeah. Wow. It's actually six colors. <laughs> What's a lot, in? a lot, a lot of colors. Yes, this roadmap what? stinks. It really does. It's not. It's not easy to to see where you are. Mm -hmm. Excuse Especially me. What book you have to play are we the in? Beginning part three times. So instead of repeating it three times, you only repeat it once and then Not continue. It's, it's ridiculous. It's crazy. We are in book 366. We're in page book three, 366. Correct. Yes. Page six. Somebody was yep. asked. Is that a new book? Yes. yes. 
Yep, we just oh. started this book. Yep. What's the, what's the title on it? Um, Songs 1960s. of the 1960s. Of the 60s? Mm -hmm. Thank you. We just started a new book. Okay, uh, Andy's got a question behind me. Go ahead, Andy. Uh huh. Oh my gosh. All right, he's asking about presets. Okay, Andy wants to know, Andy's looking at his preset sheet, and he wants to know where the changes are. I guess I can tell you that right now, and then when I play the song, you'll be able to see where the changes are, and you'll already have your presets written in. A1 is the intro that I wrote out. A2 is at the beginning of the song, and you also want to put octave, what was that? Oh, Daddy let somebody in. Okay, I thought I had the door locked. Wow, all of a sudden I hear the door opening up. What? <laughs> That's got to be books, right, Daddy? All right, thank you. All right, so A2 is at the beginning of the song, and right there I want you to write 8, V, A, and put some dots because you're going to play that first section an octave higher. Um, right away at the beginning, A2 at the beginning, and then 8VA with dots. And you don't have to make the dots go all the way, just so you know you're going to play those first two lines an octave higher. All right, where the lyrics start, you're going to put A3 and A7. A3 and A7. All right, let's continue. And that's that actually is loco. If you wanted to put loco there, you could you can because you're gonna go back from here, you're gonna go back to the lower octave. It is crazy. Now we're going to go to where the middle of line two on page seven, where the dots go forward. You're gonna have three presets there: a four, a six and A8. They all happen to be the same, by the way. A4, A6, and A8, right before you start going, all you need is love. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. And yes, I'm going to put those notes in for you, too. All right, let's go down to the first ending at the bottom of the page. In that first measure, you can go to a five, and you're also Dawn, going, yes. Um, go. That's the top of page eight. Nope, A5. it's the, the nope. A five goes at the beginning of the first ending. Oh, the beginning. Oh, okay. the beginning of the first ending, and you're going to write eight V A. That love, love, love is going to again be in that higher octave. You'll hear it. You'll hear mm -hmm. it. It'll, it'll sound fine. Okay. All right. Now, keep going. Turn the page at the end of the first ending, which is line two at the end of the first measure. Yep. You're going to put A6. Now, A6 is also over here. My problem is I wanted to go from that all the way back to the beginning. And so you have to, that's why the colors are so important. This one does not take you back to the beginning. It takes you just back to page two. Right. And you can write loco there as well. A6 loco, meaning you're going to take your hand and put it back to original position. Does it? Okay, Andy says it's making sense now. So now you're going to play. You're going to skip over to the second ending. And at the end of the second ending, before you go back to the silly sign, you want to put A7. A7. Because A7 is also right here at the silly sign. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, correct. At the end of the first ending. A6 is at the end of the first ending. Mm -hmm. And you're going back to the middle of that second page. When you play it the second time and you do the second ending, now you're going to go to A7 and you are going back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. Correct. That's for the third verse. And you're only going to play that once. You Now you ignore those repeat dots. You already used them up, so you ignore them. Now you go to A8, which I already told you to put there, and do the Dawn. all you need is love. Dawn. Yeah, you've already got them written in. And then you go to the coda and finish on A8. So once you do A8, that's it for the presets. Yeah. Now, if you like Dawn. one sound, if you choose, if you find one of these that works or you want to use a rhythm preset, go ahead and use a rhythm preset and just do one sound for the whole thing. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add some extra notes, like I said. Um, and the hardest measure, if any of you tried to play this before, I'm sure you found that the hardest measure to play is the first measure at the top of page seven or the second page, right? Nothing you can say, but you can learn how to play the game. It's easy. Sure it is. <laughs> All right. So really what you have there is you have triplet, triplet, eighth note, triplet, eighth note, oh. right? So I tried to put a rest in front of it and redo it didn't work. So I thought, you know what? Instead of trying to make it sound exactly the way he sings it, because he's really not even really singing it, he's really just kind of spewing out words there, just play exactly what's there and be very mindful of what you play. And you're going to take that G chord out. See where that G chord is? It's not even really, it's what beat is that on? What beat, what the heck, what, what beat is that on? Cross it out and throw it away. We're going to skip that chord altogether. We're just going to stay on D7 for the whole line. That way we just have to worry about our right hand. Da, 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 da. Uh-huh. Okay, Andy's talking about lyrics. Nothing you can make that can't be made. Does it make sense to you? That's still what you're still on A3. When you repeat, you, you don't. Yeah. When you repeat, that's actually a good point. You're going to play the first two verses on A3. Oh so when God. you repeat, you're not going to a, oh, yeah. new, a new preset. A3, you're going to play verse 1 and verse 2 on A3. Mm -hmm. That's actually a good point. Yes, yeah. you're welcome. <laughs> All right. Before we actually go into what is going on here, let's talk about chords, and then I'll play it for you. Um, first page, no changes. Just play the chords that are there. Second page, top line, take that G, cross it out, throw it away. We don't need it. It's just in the way. Second line, last measure. You've got an A chord. Now you can play A if you want. You can play A7 if you want. Or you can play A sus or A7 sus, which would be a three or four note chord. What are the notes in that? D dinosaur, E elephant, G gorilla, and A alligator. That's an A suspended fourth with the seven. Line three, the middle of the line, you've got another A chord. Do the same thing, A sus or A7 sus. Last page, coda, third line. Make those two, you've got two A chords in the third line. Make them both A sus. Otherwise, the chords that are there are good. So those are the only chord changes. Um, last page, third line, 
The first chord is an A, make it an A sus or an A7 sus. And the last chord is an A, same thing, make it an A sus or an A7 sus. All right, so what kind of a background am I using on this? I decided to keep it quite simple. Basic march or grand march at 100 beats per minute. And then you're going to turn off your orchestra plus. And we're going to start off. This is going to help you find category presets. Rhythm preset doesn't matter because when you go to a category preset, it turns off your rhythm presets anyway. Now, if you have a smaller instrument, traditional full band, you might want to bring your style on this side down. So uh, you might, you don't want to pull it all the way out, but pull that volume down so you're not getting all the marching band. You're basically just getting the beat. And when you're over here for your sound, you're looking for brass. There should be a brass section under the more. Very good. Thank you. You're very welcome. But then you're going to change it. You're going to add some vocals to that. Yeah. You're going to want to add some vocals to that when you get to the love, 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 <laughs> and your harmonies. And that's all in here. Okay. So let's give this a try and see if, see if Dawn can follow the roadmap. Technical problems. <laughs> 
Okay. Sorry about my, my foot. I, I got real heavy. I was so worried about getting to the next preset that I would kick and it would go two or three. So yeah, so my presets are they're in the right order. I just it's technical difficulty with my foot today. <laughs> just kicked it too hard. So you do have to watch that as well. It's gonna be very tricky to play. This is a hard song. Yeah, this is not the Beatles are always, always have something in there to make it a little more complicated. So John. Yeah. Uh, Susie, uh, I noticed it's in song setup uh, on the marquees and it's okay. classic beach and the sounds is like strings and L piano. Seriously? Is that any good? Um, what, what does the title say? Does the title say all you need is love? Yes. It, says. it does. Exactly what it says. Oh, and, okay. And then I know the vintage has a lot of brass in it too you mentioned okay. brass but okay i wondered if that on the song setup of strings and e piano would be sure know, that would work or go to the vintage and maybe pick song out song setup thing. usually will give you the two sounds that yeah. you should be able to play the song on now you're not always going to like everything that's there okay Classic beach really yeah oh. yeah it's on uh marquee and yeah i have the same Classic Beach. Classic Beach. Okay, let me see where Classic Beach is. And see, I don't know if I have Classic Beach here. It's under Pop. It is. I don't have Classic Beach on this one. So that's okay. All right. See me after class. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I know. <laughs> oh, it's here. It's under something different. Uh -huh. Okay, so oh. let me see. Try it. Yeah, let yeah. me see why, if that would, I don't have the exact. Tempo is 100. Yeah, it gives you that same beat, right? Yeah, yeah the beat yeah. is right. Okay. The beat is exactly right. Yeah, so if you didn't want to use March, you could actually use Classic Beach. I'm going to write that in. Classic. So as far as the preset, would you just stay with the strings and the E piano? Then? Um, that would probably work. Strings. But see, they made a special, he made a special setting for it that I don't have. Let's try. That's close. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Absolutely. Yeah. Strings and piano? Absolutely. So Classic Beach is another, just another avenue to go. Absolutely. Good. So we don't have to then take the orc off or plus off. No, because it comes up with the right beat right. just the way it is. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So, so would you use that piano on? Some? I would. Yeah, as long as the strings are in there, that's going to sound fine. Strings and then go to the bottom on the E piano. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sure. Okay, thank you. Now, because this does not have the intro in the easy play, you may wish to find which preset has your brass so that you can do the intro. Because you want oh, okay. that intro to be the, well, why the French national anthem? I don't know. And John Lennon's not alive that we can call and ask him. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but you want, you want that brass section for that, for that intro, if you want it to be the true intro. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yep, you're welcome. Yep, and then, yeah, strings and piano are gonna be fine. I actually did a combination. I did two combinations, one that used organ and, I don't know, you're gonna, you're gonna have to follow this. One that used guitar and vocals, and I also put the cello down here because he's using remember they've got that string section in there that's doing the extra notes on page one. Oh, actually that's all, it's all the way through so when you play that very first section So it 
gives you something to do instead of having all those rests. Now, you can make it as easy or as hard as you want. I did have some double notes in places, but if I just give you the single notes, you'll be able to play it. Which one sounds better, or didn't it matter? Obviously, it didn't matter. Okay, so let's just give you the single notes. Line two. On which second, page? Second measure on the first page. Okay. Mm hmm when, once you get to the love, love, love on that second line, then you're going to go to the bottom keyboard. Okay, so you're going to start with quarter notes. Underneath the A in measure two, you're going to write D on the first space below the staff, D on beat two, beat three, if you want you can do E over C, or just write C on the first line under the staff, and another C. Those are four quarter notes. D, D, C, C. And you're going to have to do one of these, or you're going to have to skip that first note. Okay, so now you're going to do two C's again. The next measure, you're going to do C, C, and then you're going to drop down and do A, A on the second line below the staff. If you want to double up on the notes, over the C you would put a D dinosaur, so it's going to be real close. <laughs> And over the A, you're going to stay on a C, C and A. Or just play D, D, C, 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 A, A. That's the easy way. The last measure on that line, you're going to have two eighth notes and a quarter note, two eighth notes and a quarter note. Your two eighth notes are B butterfly, B is the second space below the staff. Mm -hmm. The next eighth note is a C, first line beneath the staff. Butterfly, chicken, put two stems on them and connect them with a flag. Right after that, you're going to do a quarter note, D dinosaur, first space below the staff. Just put a stem on it. Now you're going to do two more eighth notes. D dinosaur and E elephant. The E is on the first line of the staff. Make two lines, connect them with a flag. And beat four is a G gorilla on the second line. Just put a stem on it. And you can hear I have more than one string in there. So I've got, I've got several octaves. I'm, if you want to get all that stuff, it's here. If you're on an easy four, make sure you just put like a cello or a violin to your lower keyboard. So you have to go to your orchestrals and make sure that it's on a flashing. Mm -hmm. It's the flash you tell it you're telling it to go down. Okay, we're going to put in some extra notes on page seven, the second page. Now I've got, I've got uh, saxes underneath. If you want to stay with your cellos, that's fine. That's really what they are. I didn't feel I was lazy. I didn't feel like changing them on this preset. I just left them as saxes. Line two, first measure, beat three. 
You've got to rest there. Beat three, put a D dinosaur on the first space below the staff. Make it a quarter note. Beat four, repeat it, D dinosaur. And then the next measure with the whole rest, it's going to be the exact same notes that you did in the last measure of line two on the first page. Your two eighth notes are B, butterfly, and C, chicken. Connect it with a flag. Beat two is a D dinosaur. Make it a quarter note. Your next two eighth notes are D dinosaur and E elephant. Connect them with a flag. And beat four is a G gorilla. Make sure you put a, a quarter note, put your line on that. And if you want to make your L, don't forget to put your L so you know you're going to the lower keyboard for that particular line. <clears throat> All right, now let's go to line three of the second page. Okay, we're going to do those notes. And again, if you want to put your, your L for lower, you may. And if you want to play, and if you're on an on an like an easy four and you've already got your cello down there and you like how it sounds, you can just leave it. Sax. Or if you like putting the sax down sax. there, use yeah. the sax for the entire entire time you play the lower keyboard. It really doesn't matter which yeah. sound you have yeah. down there. Yeah, I like the sax. Okay, then put the sax down there and play, and you can play that first page with the sax too. That'll yeah. work. All right, so here's your extra notes. Beat two is an A, and I don't care if you put it in the second space or if you put it in the second line below the staff. doesn't matter. This is the first measure? This is the first measure of line three. Beat two oh. is an A. Beat three, you're going to have two eighth notes. F sharp and F natural. So you want to put a, a hashtag F and then an F. Connect them with a flag. Then beat four, you're going to put a triplet. So you're going to have three notes and you're going to connect them with, a, with stems, one flag and a little three. And that triplet is E elephant, flat E, so put a flat sign in front of the E, D dinosaur. So you're actually playing an A and it doesn't matter if you play the high one or the low one. F sharp, it's A, F sharp, F, E, E flat, D. You're just coming coming down the chromatic scale. You're going to repeat that line three, third measure. Right after you do all you need is love, you're going to re just repeat those notes. A, quarter note in beat two. Beat three is two eighth notes, F sharp and F, connected with a, with a flag. Beat four is a triplet, eighth note triplet, E, flat E, D, Connected with a flag and a little three. All right, let's go to page three. Third page. What you did on page one, you are going to repeat exactly starting in the third measure. So if you just wrote the easy notes, measure three, top line, it would be D dinosaur, D dinosaur, C chicken, C chicken, Next measure, C chicken, C chicken, A alligator, A alligator, all quarter notes. 
And then the second line, first measure, eighth notes, B and C. B butterfly, C chicken, connect them. Beat two is a D dinosaur, just make it a quarter note. D dinosaur, E elephant, connect them with a flag, those are eighth notes. And G gorilla on the second line and put a quarter note, just put a stem on it. Mm -hmm. All right, for your coda, line three. Dawn? Yeah. Is that series B, B, C, D, D, E, G in that first measure on the second line? Yes. So there's nothing in the, that second measure? Correct. The second measure, okay. leave it blank. That's all just rests. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Because if you see where you're coming from, Love is all you need. And then it's just a, a whole rest. And then you go back to the beginning and pick up verse three. Yep. All right, so now we're at the coda. Third line. All you need is love. Guess what we're going to do? So what you wrote on page two, you're just going to repeat it. Beach two is an A. Beat three is two eighth notes, F sharp and F sharp, F, regular F. Two stems, connect it with a flag. Beat four is a triplet, eighth note triplet. E, flat E, D. Connect them all, make stems on them, connect it all with a flag and put a little tiny three on top. Repeat that sequence in line four, first measure, where they say, everybody, all together now. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to say that while you're, while you're playing, you, you may do that as well. <laughs> all you need is love, all together now. <laughs> and you got to remember what this was written for. It was written for a big event for the summer of love, <laughs> 1967, yeah. So you repeat that sequence in line four, first measure, and that's it. Is it a lot? Yeah. Do you have to play all this stuff? No, you do not. You do not. But it is a fun song to play. <laughs> so if you like the saxes on the bottom, absolutely, Fred, just put saxes on the bottom and play that play that first part where I have cellos and violins. Just put your saxes on the bottom and play it. Yeah. That'll work. Absolutely. Okay, I keep how it are we simple. doing on time? <laughs> I said I keep it simple. Yep, keep it, keep it simple. And if you mess up on the roadmap, I'm not coming there to yell at you, trust me. <laughs> the, the Oregon police are not gonna come to your house and say, Fred, you messed up. They're not gonna do that. <laughs> If you mess up, who cares? Who cares? And if you kick too many times, yeah, just go back and punch the right one because my foot got a little heavy because I was worried about getting to the next preset. You kick it too hard and it skips three or four, so you do have to watch that. I thought I was starting to get better with that. Obviously not. <laughs> I also have fingering for you if you need it. Are there any questions? Do you need me to play it one more time? Yes. Yes, play it one more time, please. Okay. Follow yes. Along. Yeah, now that we've got all the stuff written in, let's see if we can get through it. Let's see if I can get through it a little bit better this time.
to the right preset. We're going to start with All You Need Is Love. And I'm not an octave up. That's what it is. This is a tough song to play. Yeah. This is a tough one. Yeah. It is fun. Absolutely, it's fun. Yeah. Beatles are always fun, but they are a little bit complicated sometimes. And this was supposed to be a super simple song that the masses could pick up the lyrics and sing along. You know, it's the summer of love. <laughs> all you need is love. Love is all you need. Yeah, very profound. <laughs> I do have fingering for you. Next week we will do Aquarius. Yeah, the 60s was a very interesting time. I was a kid, so I don't remember it the same way that, that other people remember. When it was 67, I was eight years old. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so the summer of love didn't mean that much to me. <laughs> but, Go on. But I'm having fun with it. Yes. Uh, question, uh, did you resolve the issues on the books for the next classes, the the issue about uh, either uh, combining the two classes? Yeah, the I've decided I'm not going to combine the classes. I've got too many people that aren't crazy about genre-specific music and would rather stay with some of the more melodic, um, like Broadway or, or just more generic, um, some of the older melodic tunes yeah okay okay so, I no i'm not going to combine them i'll leave oh, it where it is okay good i didn't email you but that's my uh my feeling too I'd like i to, heard way I too know. many people say yep i really really like those songs and i really want to continue with the it, they, they are very different monday and wednesday songs are very different very different oh. yeah so we'll kind of stick with that and as far as the next book um, one of the suggestions is book 278. This is for Monday now. That's not for this class. We, we've got a long time to go in the 60s. We're going to have some fun with this. Um, but to look up book number 278, which is the follow-up book to 274. It's called More of 150 of the Best Songs. Sounds so good. Check that out Sounds and see good. what you think on that one. And I'll also be looking for some other ones just so we have several to choose from. But that would be a good one, a good one to go to. And they'd all, all those songs would be different from Book 274, which is a good thing, too. You may also want to go to something like Broadway and go to a Broadway book. But then you don't get some of the nice movie songs. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a toss-up. So 
Uh, that would be my recommendation, would be 278, more, 150 more of the best, most beautiful songs. So we'll do that. But it's, we got three months yet, so no worries. No worries. All right, stick around because fingering. Those of you who don't need fingering, thank you for coming. I can't do this without you. You guys are so awesome. Thank you so much. All right, here we go. I did not put fingering on the intro. It's just starting on the on the love, love, love. B4, A3, G2. B4, A3, G2. C5, B4, A3. Now, you're going to want to dip your thumb down to that low D for the lower notes that I put. And then pretty much whatever finger you want to use to get the rest of those notes in. If you want to do this, I know I tell you in levels two, three, and four, don't do that. But, you know, whatever it takes to get you to play the... Whatever fingers get there first. Let's go to line three. Low D1, high B5, B5. A4, G3. A4, A4, G3, F sharp 2, G3. B5, B5, A4, G3, A4, A4, G3, F sharp 2, G3. Let's go to the top of the second page. B5, B5, A4, G3. A4, G3, E1, G3, B5, A4, G3, A4, G3, A4. That measure and a half, you may wish to just get your fingers to do it so you don't have to think about it because that's, that's a tough one to even try to count out. High D3, you want to put a little check mark in that rest on line one. High D is three, E4, D3, then you're going to, again, come down and get that low D with the thumb and whatever fingers get there first. Let's go to after the dots, D3, 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 or whatever finger you feel like it. <laughs> D3, 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 or whatever finger you feel like it. Now the next line I have D2, D2, D sharp 3, D sharp 3, E4, B1, A2, circle it, there's going to be a crossover, B3, A2, G1, G1, first ending. B4, A3, G2, B4, A3, G2, C5, B4, A3, and you want to come down with your thumb to that lower keyboard, and whatever finger gets there first is the winner. And the rest of the song is basically a repeat of this page, D3, 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 D3. And on line four, second measure, D2, D2, D sharp three, D sharp three, E4, B1. Last line, A2, circle it, cross over. B3, A2, G1, G1, A2, B3, a2, G1, G1, A2, B3, and then just keep repeating. <laughs> it is a fun song to play, and you don't have to add all that extra stuff, and you don't have to follow the roadmap perfectly, because guess what? It just doesn't matter. What matters is you playing the song, having a good time with it. All right, very cool. Very cool. Email me if you have any questions or you need anything, and we will do Aquarius next week. Yes. Very cool. Don, yeah. Before, before you, could you do line uh, 
three, page two, again. Uh, Line the, three? All the D, yeah. All the Ds. All you need is love starting at the dots? Starting at, uh, at line two at the dots, or? No, uh, page two, line yeah. three. Line three, okay. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I need the, the numbering on that. I got goofed up. Oh, all those Ds are threes and I did not give you fingering for this. You can just do five, four, three, two, one. Was the first, oh, the first D was a three as well. Yeah, yep. Oh. Or whatever finger you want because that's all the same note. Gotcha. I got lost, all right. That's just a strong finger. That's why I chose three. Thank you much. Be, you're very welcome. Just be consistent with your fingering. If you change mine, it's okay. Just be consistent so that every time your fingers know where they're going. If you just kind of go, well, this time I'll do it this way and this time I'll do it that way, that's when your fingers start to stumble and they don't go where, where you want them to go. So always just be consistent with your fingering in each part of the song so that they start to learn where they're going. Muscle memory takes over. Yep. All right. You guys are the bestest. Thank you so much. And we will see you all next week. Oh, let me see the chats. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who wrote this? Oh, Rose. Thank you. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you.